German intelligence forces are reevaluating their focus after neo Nazi groups have been linked to several murders and bank robberies. Law enforcement had been so focused on perceived Islamic terrorist threats that last year an annual intelligence report by Germany's Federal Office of the Protection of the Constitution reported that no structures of right wing terrorism were detectable, according to the Washington Post. After a botched bank robbery provided police with new information, 10 murders, including that of a female police officer, along with over 12 other bank robberies, are being tied to a neo Nazi group called the National Socialist Underground, or NSU. The only surviving NSU suspect currently in police custody tried to burn down her shared apartment, but she left behind lots of evidence that map out NSU's alleged crimes. German security service officers reportedly destroyed files that were relevant to the case, stirring up controversy. Although the German government has said that this was a routine purge of files, the head of the Federal Office of the Protection of the Constitution resigned after the incident. Strategy in Germany against a rise of far-right extremism is under the spotlight after revelations of a string of neo-Nazi murders. A conference of ministers and experts has been held in Berlin after an underground cell went undetected for a decade, killing 10 people, mostly immigrants. Past intelligence gathering related to neo-Nazi groups and the use of undercover agents have been criticized. These undercover agents do not lead to anything, says this politician. They're mostly people who end up continuing their racist, extreme right thinking. The neo-Nazi cell came to light after a woman surrendered to police. Two other alleged members were found dead and another has been arrested. It's reported police found video recordings in which the group admits to carrying out the murders. German police are asking the public for information about a trio suspected of a string of racist murders. Beata Chepper is the only one of the three still alive. She's now in custody. Authorities displayed firearms said to belong to the so-called Nationalist Socialist Underground Group. The neo-Nazi cell is blamed for killing at least nine Turkish and Greek immigrants and a policewoman between 2000 and 2007. The group was discovered only by chance when two members apparently committed suicide. Chepper, who police say set a caravan and house on fire in the eastern German state of Saxony, turned herself in. As police seek evidence of any links between the group and Germany's far-right NPD party, calls have multiplied for it to be banned.